Hiroshima and Fukuyama. But I also just got another Shinkansen from Tokyo to Hiroshima. I've been catching a lot of Shinkansen these past few days. So one of the things as a tourist that you can do when you come to Japan is use the JR Rail Pass, which means that you have unlimited rides on JR lines and Shinkansens for a limited amount of time. So you can purchase like a week, two weeks, whatever. If you want to travel a lot, this might be a really great option for you. If not, there's also aeroplanes, which can be a lot cheaper if you're not traveling to so many areas. But if you want to travel in the Shinkansen and you're going to travel a lot, I Oh my god. I don't even know if you guys can hear me, to be honest. There's so many sounds though. Can't you? There's so many sounds. <laughs> This baby will be a part of my video. No, I want to tell you guys how I enjoy my Shinkansens to the fullest. With Shinkansens, it's kind of not common for me to ride them. They're, they're a little bit expensive, they're kind of a special occasion. So when I do ride them, I make the most of them. It's like they're a holiday within themselves. So one of the things about Shinkansens is you can bring as much food as you want on there. That's one of the things that I love. In Tokyo Station, you can get these things called Ekiben, which is basically just a station bento box that you can take on Shinkansens. So they have heaps of different options. They also have vegetable options and vegan options. Uh, but in Tokyo Station, there's a lot of different things to choose from. On the way here, I got the most delicious bento box I have ever eaten. It was so good. So if you feel like drinking a beer, having some wine, keeping it luxurious, keeping it chill, just grab some alcohol on the way in and you can drink it on your journey. Now Shinkansens can range from a lot of different times. Right now we're on one for just 20 minutes, but on the way here we rode one for 4 hours. When you catch Shinkansen, each of them have different names and they go different speeds and different places. So make sure that you check out what kind of Shinkansen you want to ride, what's the most expensive, what's the least expensive, what the ride times are, that kind of, that kind of thing. Always good to know. On this Shinkansen ride, I got a donut, so I'm just going to be eating that while I talk to you guys. Now, if you are catching the Shinkansen towards Kyoto and Osaka from Tokyo, you will be able to see Mount Fuji on a good day. Luckily enough, I was able to see it last night. This was so good. If you do forget to bring, like, a bento box, some snacks or whatever, there is a trolley that goes through the train which has some snacks and drinks and things to choose from if you get hungry while you're on your trip and you forget to get something beforehand. They also have toilets and some vending machines. They're a little bit more expensive and the, the drinks will be quite small, I think, but the option is there if you want to get a drink while you're on the Shinkansen. If you do get a Shinkansen, and it, if it's possible, I do recommend getting a window seat because one of the best things is to be able to look out the window and see all the scenery go by. I love it so much. Also, yeah, just basically don't forget to bring something to do, something to read. You can just play on your phone, watch a movie if you have a way to do that. It's it's chill. You can still use internet and everything. But really, it's just nice to look out the window. It's so cool. So you can get a reserved seat, which is quite a bit more expensive than a choose-your-own seat seat. So if you do that, uh, if you do it the cheaper way, you can, if it's a more empty Shinkansen, then it's great. You get it cheaper, you can sit wherever you want. But if you come in and it's quite busy, then you might have to stand. So that's the kind of risk that happens when they they call GU Seki, so they choose freely seat. So just be careful with those, but it should be fine. Okay, well that's just a little quick uh, introduction to Shinkansen and how I like to ride them. But how do you guys like to ride Shinkansen? Do you have any extra things that you like to do or anything I missed? Any tips and tricks? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this or not like this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers!
ちゃん。<笑>